Hi, today I'm going to show you how I set up my skin workflow for Second Life. So this is just going to be Blender 3.0 or higher. Whatever one takes the uh, separate like 2x2 two two texture UVs. First thing I'm going to do is just delete this cube here and fix my view so it's not the weird view there. I'm going to import my .obj. That is going to be the eBody Reborn dev kit. The eBody dev kit is provided on application. You'll have to get it yourself. I can't distribute it, nor would I if uh, someone asked. So I'm going to open up another tab here, and then switch it to UV Editor in the top there. I'm going to go to the material tab here. It's going to say torso and leg. We're going to go into the edit mode. Click off to the side here. You'll see that they are already separated out from torso and leg. That is what we want. And I'll just click to the side there again and get this big scrambled mess here. What I'm going to do is open up a new image here. I'm just going to name it UV and then make it another color so I can actually see the UVs on it. Go to Tiled, and then it'll make me a new image to set my UVs up at. So you're gonna see just one tile here. You're gonna wanna press N, go to UDIM Tiles. It's gonna have one already. You're just gonna add one more. And most of these defaults are fine. You don't gotta change them. 1000 by 24 is pretty all right size. And I'm just going to make it blue. And you don't have to change anything other than the color. Just so you can see what you're doing. Make that page go down. And then click off to the side here. Select the torso in the materials tab. Um, materials tab is just right here. Depending on your workflow. I believe this is what it will look like on startup though. Go back over to the UV editor here. Press A. And then press G to move move it one to the right on the x-axis and you can see that both of the UVs are now on separate panels here that is what we want I'm going to go back into the object mode and then I'm going to delete one of these faces just rename it to body and when you go back into edit mode you'll see that they are still working perfectly fine here but we only have one face that's going to be what allows us to paint across the tiles then I'm going to go ahead and go to export.obj. I'm going to go into my eBody file. And I'm just going to name it eBody Paint 1. That is all we have to do in Blender here. Just make sure before you go to Substance Painter, you only have the one face. And I'm going to open up a fresh substance painter here. Go to new. Make sure you are taking the right one, which mine is just the eBody paint that I just finished. And we'll want to use the UV tile workflow. Preserve UV tile layout per material and enable painting cross tiles. That is the one we want. Press OK. And you'll see on the side here, there's going to be two UVs, and you can paint across them however you want. If there is only one here, you probably did not delete the face, and you'll have to go back into Blender and do that again. And you'll see right here, we have two of them here. It's just the two different tile sets. And then I'm going to go ahead and just delete that there. I've already uploaded these, but I'm going to show you how to upload them again. I'm going to go into File import resources, add resources, and I'm just going to go into this file here because this is where my shaders are, even though these ones are not up to date anymore. I'm going to take the torso here and the bottom here. I'm going to go into texture for both of them. I'm going to go ahead and just put these into my current session. If they're your shaders that you use every day, you can put them into your uh, you can put them into your like library so you can find them easier. I'm going to take the first one here, 
drag it anywhere on the texture here. You're going to go in and go to the properties fill, tile in one, and then offset one and offset zero. That's going to put it into this spot on the right here. Make another one, which is just going to be the bottom. You don't have to do anything on here. You just drag it on there and it'll be same as before. Tiling one, offset zero, and zero instead of one. And we're on materials right now, so you see it all shiny. We just work in by base color for most like second life skin making. If you need materials, they're on there, but I prefer to just work on the base color. And you can also remake your layers on these. It's just a lot of work. I use the overlay shading, so this works fine for me. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it on symmetry. And as you can see here, you can just go all the way across the belly. There's no belly seams anymore, and that's what we want. The only issue you may have with seams is the arms here, because Second Life only uses the one arm. So if you're not using the symmetry tool, some stuff can mess up. But for the most part, you're going to be seamless if you're working on subs and painter like this. Like, everywhere is able to be painted without any issue. 